Psychiatric disorders come in a variety of forms. While you likely know someone with certain illnesses like anxiety, depression and schizophrenia, there are others that are less common. In a previous video, we talked about 10 rare mental disorders to know about to shed light on some of these unusual conditions. To follow up on that video and highlight more of these uncommon disorders, let's explore 6 rare disorders that you should know about. Reactive Attachment Disorder Something we've covered before on this channel is attachment styles. When a positive attachment develops, this allows the child to bond and grow emotionally. However, something called Reactive Attachment Disorder, or RAD, prevents this bond from ever occurring. The Cleveland Clinic states that most cases of RAD occur in very young children as a response to abuse and neglect. This can also happen with older children, especially those with unstable home lives. With RAD, children struggle to form healthy bonds with others, may not respond to or show affection, and often avoid social situations. Selective Mutism We know lots of people who like to hear themselves talk, but what about someone whose anxiety doesn't allow them to speak in certain situations? The Selective Mutism Center explains that while some kids are naturally chatty and others quiet, those with selective mutism will not speak in certain circumstances. For example, a child may communicate well at home, but will not at school. The American Speech Language Hearing Association describes selective mutism as part of an anxiety disorder. It states there is also evidence of there being a genetic component that a parent with an anxiety disorder typically passes down. While selective mutism can occur with other conditions like autism spectrum disorder, sensory processing issues or hearing problems, it can stand on its own without any co-occurring condition. Pika, have you ever wondered what some non-edible item would taste like? Remember the Tide Pod challenge? Turns out not all brightly colored liquid is fruit juice. Most of us can easily identify what is food and what isn't by taking one bite. However, people with pica will have the compulsion to eat particular objects that are inedible. Healthline explains that pica mostly occurs in people with certain vitamin deficiencies and is commonly seen in children and pregnant people. Since it's a compulsion, a person diagnosed with pica may eat something even if it is dangerous and against their better judgment. A common item eaten by those with pica is chalk, which is linked to low iron and zinc levels. Some other common items are paint and even dirt. In some severe cases, people with pica have to undergo procedures to remove these objects and toxins from their bodies that they've consumed. Apodomnophilia For most people, getting in an accident where you lose a limb would be very traumatic. For those with apodomnophilia, they have an overwhelming desire to amputate a healthy limb. While this is shocking, according to the Cambridge University Press, People with this disorder feel that a part of their body, such as a hand or leg, is wrong and will experience significant discomfort in having it. For some, it is a sexual compulsion. For others, it isn't. It can be incredibly distressing for the person with the condition, so distressing that they may make efforts to undergo a medical procedure to get their limb amputated. Some of us can barely get a shot without crying, let alone a full amputation. Kleptomania as kids, we usually learn not to touch things that aren't ours. With kleptomania, you have an impulse to steal something that isn't yours. The Mayo Clinic explains that someone with this disorder will feel relief after stealing an item, similar to the way a smoker might after their first puff of a cigarette. Before stealing, they may feel anxious, jittery and out of sorts, but feel relieved by taking something. Kleptomania is a compulsion that needs to be acted upon. They may not care about the items they steal or even that they're stealing something from someone close to them. It's to satisfy the urge. Generally it happens in episodes and is not something that can be stopped through willpower. Even the significant legal consequences will not stop them. Ekbom Syndrome Unless you're Indiana Jones, creepy crawlies tend to creep most of us out. Just thinking about a bug infestation is uncomfortable. Imagine. What if you had bugs inside of you? Ugh. Ekbom syndrome is a type of delusion where a person will believe that they have a bug or parasite infestation inside them. They have sensations of something crawling inside of them that feel real. So, they will seek medical attention even though nothing is there. Since it's a delusion, 
the individual is less likely to be aware of this. Therefore, Ekbom syndrome is treated in a similar manner to other psychotic symptoms. Even though there's medical evidence that they're healthy, they will never be convinced. While there are many areas of mental health that are well known and researched, there are many more rare conditions that we are still learning about. If you know of another rare illness, or are even diagnosed with one, and feel comfortable sharing, let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see if we post a part 3.